Hey guys, what's good? And today I'm going to be talking Space Marine 2 PvP again. Now, today I'm going to be making a prediction that I personally have for Space Marine 2. And I think a few people are probably going to be a bit annoyed at it, but hear me out. Now, if you're a fan of Space Marine and of Warhammer 40k in general, you know that different legions that serve the Imperium, that serve Chaos, are known for different fighting styles. For example, the Ultramarines are a very attack-based group, the Imperial Fists are more defensive, the Death Guard, for example, work more with attrition warfare, blah blah blah. And if Space Marine 2, the PvP mode, is going to base some of the different classes and the different abilities of some of the different legions on the lore, then in my personal opinion, when it comes to squad fighting tactics, infiltration, and sort of 6v6 warfare, I think there's one legion that stands above all the rest. And this, of course, happens to be my favorite legion, which is the Iron Warriors. If you know anything about Warhammer 40k, you'll know that the Iron Warriors are probably the best attacking force that ever served the Imperium um, before the Heresy. And actually, during the Horus Heresy, it was the Iron Warriors that basically hard carried the offensive for the the traitors against the Emperor. And that was because the Iron Warriors were the best at integrating technology and squad fighting tactics against the Imperium. I don't know if Space Marine 2 is going to have all of these different settings for the different legions, or if it's just going to be a matter of wearing different skins and having the same combat styles, the same combat um, effects, the same guns, the same swords. However, one theory that I do have is as the game develops, they might implement different abilities for different legions. So for example, if you're a Salamanders, you might have a flamethrower. If you're an Imperial Fist, then maybe you're going to have a heavy cannon that you can use sitting in your trench. And if that's true, for the 6v6 style or for the squad-based tactics, I actually think the Iron Warriors could dominate Space Marine 2 PvP. I think the Iron Warriors Legion are the best suited for that type of warfare. And if you look at the law and look at how the Iron Warriors conduct their offensives, this type of warfare is right up their alley. Now, this doesn't take into account the fact that I don't know what the maps are going to be like in Space Marine 2. It might be very broad maps. It might be very tight maps. It might, you might, for example, have maps that focus on melee combat, in which case maybe, you know, the World Eaters will be better. And maybe you have maps where one team is attacking and the other is defending. And maybe for the defending side, you want to be an Imperial Fist. But if we're looking at a one size fits all approach, I think the Iron Warriors would destroy any other legion bar none. One thing that I'm not sure about Space Marine 2 is it sounds like they don't necessarily focus on you playing a specific squad legion, but they allow you to mix and match, which is cool. But if the class you can pick is affected by what legion you're playing for, then I think a squad that's mostly Iron Warriors would win every single time. Now, obviously, we'll have to wait to see if Saber and Games Workshop come out with more lore about the, the game or the game mechanics of Space Marine 2, how in-depth it's going to be, how customizable you can make your warrior. But that's just one thing that I feel. And I wanted to share with you guys to see what you think. Do you think certain legions are going to be more suited to the sort of 6v6 style um, PvP that we're going to see in Space Marine 2? Do you think um, other legions would be better for co-op where you're facing off against the Tyranids? I don't know, but it's just a quick thought. And let me know what you think in the comments. 